seven weather with meteorologist Jackie Layer. And with a crisp fall like start to our Saturday morning, here's a view of those morning lows. We did see quite a few locations dip back into the upper 40s. That did include Jeffrey, Fitchburg, and even down towards Norwood, 48. That official low, 59. The low is what we started off with earlier this morning in Boston. Now we have jumped up into the lower 60s, otherwise, mid upper 50s for many locations uh, right now after we did see those temperatures starting off to the upper 40s. So feeling fall like out there, but temperatures will quickly rebound considering we are tracking clear blue skies across southern New England. But as we look ahead towards tomorrow, keeping an eye on this low off towards our north, the accompanying cold front that will swing in later on tomorrow night. That could spur up a few of those scattered thunderstorms. Again, that's later on tomorrow night. The bulk of our Sunday will be dry. And speaking of tomorrow, we do have that marginal risk. The Storm Prediction Center has put portions of Worcester County and areas west and even out towards upstate New York under that marginal risk, meaning that's one of the lower risks in terms of that severe uh, scale. We're talking about an isolated chance for a severe storm, and again, that's tomorrow night. So both today and tomorrow, great for any of those outdoor plans you may have, especially if you're heading to the local coastline. Maybe you're trying to soak up that little bit of summer, or at least extending into September, right? Mainly sun-filled today. Temperatures near the 70s and pleasant. As we get towards tomorrow, we'll be a bit more windy out there and a bit more muggy. We're also tracking temperatures a little bit warmer back into the mid to even upper 70s tomorrow. But if you are heading to the local coastline and those local beaches, just be mindful. We do have that high surf advisory until 7 p.m. this evening. It could be extended into tomorrow. All this is associated with the swells from Hurricane Larry. That's continuing to churn well off towards our north and east, but that's creating some large breaking waves and some dangerous rip currents. Some of those waves could be between four to even eight feet at times. Timing out the rest of your Saturday, we're going to be tracking those mainly clear skies. Temperatures varying mid to upper 70s across the region. Now, later on tonight, we see those overnight lows only diving back into the low 60s. A few locations will slide back into the upper 50s. Tomorrow, we'll see a mixture of sun and clouds. And after sunset tomorrow evening, that's when we could see the potential for a few of those downpours off towards our north and west into southern Vermont. Then those will continue to clip right along in New Hampshire, Massachusetts state line there before they eventually slide out. We'll see an early shower Monday morning, but again, it's late Sunday into early Monday. They're going to be tracking the potential for a few of those stronger thunderstorms, especially especially out west and even into Worcester County and southern New Hampshire. But for Sunday's game, the Patriots game, we're tracking temperatures upper 70s for tailgating, around 80 by kickoff and sliding back into the low 70s by the end of the game. Here's a view of the rest of that seven-day forecast. We're in mid-upper 70s today into the low 80s tomorrow. Then we fall back into the 70s with an early shower Monday, but the rest of the day should be dry, mainly sun-filled on Tuesday and a chance for a few showers Wednesday that could linger into early Thursday.